So hello there, this is the first day of this uh, rather exploratory video blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to do the Hebridean Way. My plan was to walk it. Uh, however, in preparation for it, I ended up uh, doing my foot some damage and I don't think my knees are up to it either. I'm a bit old, I'm 57. So what, by a change of tack, I'm now going to cycle it. So... Uh, before we start, I've got to pack a bag, you know, take some take some things with me. Now, as I say, originally I had planned to to walk it, so I'm I'm coming with a rucksack. Um, but once I arrive on the Western Isles, I'm going to take the ferry from Oban to to Barra tomorrow. Uh, I'll be hiring a bike with panniers, so I'll be transferring a lot of the gear from my rucksack uh, to the panniers. But I'm still going to have a rucksack. I think I've got too much. The panniers are 25 liters each. I think the the quantity of kit that I'm going to have overall will be a bit more than that. So I'll still have a bit. Uh, we'll see when I get there, whether the, I'm going to strap the rucksack onto the back of the bike or I'll just have the rucksack on my back. But anyway, some of the contents of the rucksack are as follows. So let me just uh, swivel this round if I can work the uh, camera. So here we go. Um, now, of course, if I had more money, I would buy, be able to afford uh smaller items but from left to right i've got a sleeping bag there a sleeping bag liner which i have found to be very very useful and of course then a self-inflating mattress now both the liner and the and the mattress probably not essentials you know they do take up quite a bit of volume but as i mentioned i'm quite old in fact there we go and this next to it here is even <laughs> better that's a uh an inflatable pillow um so the the mattress pillow and liner probably not essentials but you know an old man like me it'll make my sleeping a bit more comfortable i've got a two-man tent there um now this bit of kit is a kettle come uh, coffee cafetiere and it's a pot so a great bit of kit really uh, and i heat that up using where's my little trangia stove this is a great bit of kit a little swedish uh, meths burner there's some meths here that's what i use with that um so that's there a great bit of kit uh silver compass again as i say i was walking it now these these ordnance survey maps you can now as soon as you buy them you can get them downloadable uh, for your mobile, I'm still I'm still questioning whether I actually take the the, the paper copies or just use it uh, on my mobile. Because the danger is your mobile runs out of power, um, and then the map becomes defunct. But you know, it's, I'm cycling. But I I like the Ordnance Survey maps. I think they're a thing of beauty. So I'll probably take them along. Um, silver compass there. Uh, that's a microfiber towel, Leatherman with a knife. I mean the knife on that. I've used so often, it's such a great bit of kit. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to go into shops, so I'll have to have my face marks. COVID is still on. Hand sanitizer, back to antibacterial wipes. Again, they're taking up more volume and weight than I'd really like, but I'm going to be cycling, so it's not going to be quite so bad as it was as, it was as I'm hiking. Uh, this is a solar panel charger. It's a great bit of kit, um, but this is now getting on from mid-September. I'm going to be in the Western Isles, so exactly how much sun... I'm going to get, I'm not really sure, so I don't know, again, how, how worthwhile that will be. But it's a great bit of kit, certainly during the summer. Um, uh, you know, these things are essentials for me, I find. Um, dressings, tape, that tape is brilliant stuff. Uh, blister pads, savlon, you know, for cuts is useful. Uh, I've got a dodgy knee, so, uh, you know, knee support. Cable ties, again, always useful. I've, I've, I've not used them yet in a camp ex expedition, but I kind of feel that they always will be. That little elastic bungee is a useful thing. Longer bungees, a lanyard, a uh, razor, toothbrush, we've got there, self explanatory. Little pair of binoculars, uh, the meths we talked about. Uh, that's a compact bag, which will again squeeze everything down, and then some uh, gauze bags for putting in, you know, wet clothes, dry clothes, keeping cut things separate from each other. Um, so that's those. Along are, I suppose, my essentials before I've even put the clothes in. So there's a heck of a lot of gear there. Um, but I am cycling and I'm not out to break any records. You know, I'm going to go out and have a good time, take it nice and gentle. Uh, and I'll show you what clothes I'm packing just in a minute. OK, so here's the clothes I'm taking. Uh, again, I'll mention that I had planned initially to be to be walking uh, and not cycling. So what i've got is not ideal but hey it'll do i'm not i'm not breaking any records and i'm not going to be cycling any 
any huge distances each day. So I've got, you know, two pairs of walking trousers and a pair of shorts there. The shorts will be good for swimming. I plan to swim uh, when I get out there. It could be a bit nippy, but uh, it'll be good for you. And those, the first pair of trousers, these ones here, they, they unzip to become shorts as well, so they can double up. Pair of flip-flops, you know, when I'm uh, a bit of downtime to give my feet a bit of a rest. Three pairs of socks. Two of those are merino wool, so they say they can be worn for more than one day, you know, without washing. So uh, um, the idea is I've got three pairs of each. There's three pairs of pants, three T-shirts, there's a jersey, uh, a waterproof. And these are, again, these are walking boots. They're very, very comfortable. Um, but I'm going to be cycling in them. So we'll see how we go with them. It'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm only going to do, you know, 30, 35 miles a day maximum, maybe 40. Um, so that's it, you know, um, yeah, hopefully not too much. And that waterproof, again, ideally it would be a bit smaller, but um, it'll do the job. Cheers. So here's the first leg of the journey, um, starting at Perth Station. I'm going to go to Stirling, and then I'm in the fortunate position of getting a, a lift from my system, starting to open it.